Hey y'all, um, so this is going to be a different kind of video today. This is um, people you just don't take anywhere. You don't take their asses in public, and this is why you don't take them anywhere. If y'all hear Justin Bieber in the background, though, ignore that. Like, my son was singing this the other day, and <laughs> it, it melted my heart. So I've been on a... I've been on a bender with Justin Bieber for a day or two now, so, um, anyway, back to the video. Um, first type of person you just don't want to take nowhere, the loud mouth. Every one of y'all know somebody like this. Like, I used to be loud until I realized that I was that obnoxious friend. Um, I'm loud at home, not in public anymore. Um, like, this person is going to be two feet away from you. And they're going to be yelling for no reason because everybody in the mall, in the restaurant, wherever you're at, needs to hear everything y'all are talking about, apparently. Um, we, we don't want to take you nowhere. Nobody, no normal person wants to take your ass nowhere. Stop yelling. Oh, my God. Like, use your inside voice. We inside, use your inside voice. I think my mom told me that when I was a kid. Um, number two, that you just don't want to take nowhere is the gossip queen like this can be a guy or a girl I don't know why men think that only women gossip I've had some guy friends that were pretty bad with it too it's one thing to like oh so and so got a job at so and so it's one thing to have that kind of conversation it's a whole nother when all the person you're with wants to do is talk about other people like dude let's let's talk about something else these shades are awesome, you know, let's just talk about some, something else. Nobody wants to spend a lot of time with Gossip Queen. You just want to catch up and go on. Y'all slack off on that gossip. Your friends are like, want to spend more time with you. Just saying. Um, number three. I have a friend like this, and I, I'm not going to say names. I'm not, I'm, I, I try not to ever say names, but those of y'all that know me, y'all tend to know the people I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> your smelly friend. Everybody has at least one friend that, um, either they got bad hygiene or they just naturally smell really rough. Like, um, you can buy all the bath sets, uh, perfumes, colognes, deodorants, new body, you can get them all these little hints. You can get them all kinds of things. They are not going to use that stuff. They are going to re-gift it. They, they don't know that they smell. You don't want to take these people in public because, like, when you're walking through wherever you're going, you don't want people to be like, is that her or her or him? Or You don't want folks to wonder if you're the one smelling or if they're the one smelling. <clears throat> Some people can't help that they just smell rough. It's, you know, you can't help what you can't help, but damn if you know you smell then you should probably like pile up on taking a shower taking an extra shower i mean <clears throat> if you're not taking a shower anyway that's kind of gross but um if you're taking a shower and you still have like this naturally odor natural odor you probably need to add an extra shower layer on deodorant keep that in your purse or in your vehicle you know <clears throat> or get a, a good cologne, good perfume, like, cover, mouthwash. Y'all all got that bad breath friend. That's rough, like, I don't understand. I will tell your ass if you smell too, because it's like, I, I don't want to smell your ass. I really don't want to smell you. Like, I, I'm pretty sure at some point, like, after the gym, you know, you can be sweating, you smell funny. I'm sure at some point everybody smells bad, but shit, there's some of them just smell rough. You don't want to take that one nowhere. Next person, the selfie whore. I take selfies. I I take selfies, everybody takes a selfie, you know, but this is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is that person that when you go somewhere, they literally, you will be gone like an hour and a half, two hours with this person, and they literally took 47 pictures in 10 minutes why why because like at that point you're not living your life you're living like you're living on the internet and just wanting other people to see what you're doing 24 hours a day 
I don't like those. Like, I can't stand to turn around and look at somebody and it's like they got a damn camera stuck up in the air looking like a tree trying to catch the right angle for a selfie. Stop that. Next kind of people you don't want to take nowhere is the PDA, PDA couples. I hate seeing these. I don't really have anybody that does this that I know of. Um, never really had this problem with my friends, but I've, I see these people out and they irritate the hell out of me. Why in the world would you be at a restaurant sitting in each other's laps, all slobber-faced? We don't want to see that. Like, we don't care that that show man or that show chick, like, in all honesty, it's just annoying. Like, it's gross as hell. You make people lose their appetite. Save that for when you're home alone where it belongs. I hate PDA couples. Like, like I said, I don't have this issue with anybody that I know personally, but I see these people out every time I go somewhere, and it, it just gets under my skin. Um, the next person you don't want to take anywhere. You ever been to dinner, and um, the person that you're hanging out with, like, chews with their mouth open, and instantly, like, as soon as it, your attention gets drawn to it, you're like... I'm not even hungry anymore. I don't want to see what my food looks like already processed through seeing them chewing it. Wide open. Big horse chews, too. Stop that. We don't... Ugh. Who the hell didn't tell you as a kid to chew with your damn mouth closed? That's just... That's not... That's not proper etiquette. Like, stop that. Next... Next kind. You ever had one of your friends call you and be like, hey, you want to hang out? You say, sure. They show up at your house, or you go to theirs, and you're like, so what are we doing? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I figured, you know, we just see. If you call somebody or text somebody, Facebook, I don't give a damn, like, whatever social network you use, tweet. If you want somebody to hang out, have a plan of what, like, you should, if you initiate y'all hanging out, have a damn plan for what you want to do. Don't just fly by the seat of your pants. That's annoying as shit. Nobody wants to hang out with you because they know that y'all going to end up sitting at home, drinking soda, watching reruns of Vampire Diaries for no reason. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't watched Vampire Diaries in a minute. But y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> I sent a commercial. Um, make a plan if you want folks to hang out with your ass. Make a plan. The last one. The over enthusiast. Y'all know this kind. And it's usually parents. It's like with kids. It's usually it's usually parents. The ones that just don't get out of the house very often, so when they do get out of the house, they're so excited just to go do anything without the children attached. These are the over enthusiasts. Calm that shit down. That's why you don't get invited out more. Is like nobody wants to go with out with somebody that's excited about a pedicure. Oh my god. No, stop that. <laughs> Stop it. Like, that that don't make no sense. That's why your ass gets left at home. Because you don't know how to act. Like, calm down. That's it. Calm down. Um, That's just eight things I was thinking about of people you just don't take anywhere. Like, if I've left somebody out, if I've, you know, like, if there's something that you can't go out with this friend because they do this, Feel free to leave me a comment. Um, that's just my list of things that bug me when you go out with people. Like y'all, y'all's may be different. That's just my personal. Like this, this is not. I don't want to hang out with you if you're doing any of this. So if I left something out, feel free to drop me a comment. Um, until next time.